this is the fourth lesson of algebra and in this lesson I will explain to you how to do division in algebra. So the most important thing which you have to keep in mind when you will solve the questions of division in algebra that you have to add or subtract the exponent or power. Exponent and power both have the same meaning. So you have to add or subtract. But the rules which you have used in the case of multiplications that if two numbers have the plus sign, positive sign, the answer will be in positive, negative and negative equal to plus, negative and minus, negative and plus equal to negative. So here see the first question is 3a square b square divided by 3ab. First you have to simplify the numbers. So this is very easy 3 1 time 3, 3 1 time 3. Right so it has gone and then come to the a square and b square. See and then this is called the numerator and this is the denominator. In numerator we have a square b square in the denominator we have a and b here. So a square this is the a square of the numerator and then see there is no exponent in the denominator of a and b so it means it has one. So you have to bring only the exponent from the denominator in the numerator so this is 1, you have to move here. So it is plus 1. But when you will move from the denominator to numerator, its sign will change, it will be minus 1. Similarly, in the numerator, you have b square and this is plus, this is also plus in the denominator. But when you will move this in the numerator, again its sign will change and it will be minus 1. And keep in mind that you have to bring only the exponents, not the bases. Only one time you have to write down A, the base, and then you have to bring the exponent from denominator to the numerator. So 2 minus 1, which is A, and B, 2 minus 1, and exponent is 1. So no need to write down one or one it's understood if there is no exponent it means there is one exponent so a and b an answer so this is the very simple question we will move ahead <clears throat> and this question is minus 9a square b4 c6 divided by 3a square b square c4 so the first thing is i told you you have to simplify these numbers 3 1 time 3 3 3 times 9 right so it will be minus 3 you have now minus 3 here then we will come to the variables a square b4 c6 and i told you that you have to write down only one time these bases a b and c and then here is 2 so i have put it 2 here this is 4 b4 okay b4 and c6 and c6 then from the denominator you have to bring only the exponent to the numerator so this is plus 2 when it will come on the numerator its sign will change will be minus 2 similarly this is plus 2 when you will move this to the numerator its sign will change it will be minus 2 similarly 4 will convert to minus 4 only you have to bring the exponents right so minus 3 2 minus 2 power it is 0 4 minus 2 b square 6 minus 4 c square so the answer is minus 3 b square c square so what happens with this a raised to power or a exponent 0 because any variable or anything if they have a zero exponent it will always equal to one suppose you have a thousand and its exponent is zero so it will be equal to one that is why 
is gone it's only one so minus 3 multiply by 1 which will remain the same minus 3 b square c square right and the last question is minus 12 x cube y minus 3 z minus 5 divided by minus 3 x exponent minus 3 y minus 2 z square right so here you have to be very careful first you have to simplify these numbers so see this is minus this is minus and i told you we are doing division so just cut this this minus this minus now we have plus only right if two numbers have minus negative negative it will be positive then then three one time three four time so it will be four then x y z x y z and x is plus here y has minus three exponent and y has minus five exponent here right so you have to bring these in the numerator so how you will do it see this is minus 3 when you will move this minus 3 in the numerator it will be plus 3 similarly this minus 2 when you will move here it will be plus 2 and this will be minus 2 so 3 plus 3 equal to 4 x exponent 6 y minus 3 plus 2 is 3 minus 1 here we are doing addition rule right plus minus definitely it will be minus but you have to use the sign 3 is the larger number so minus 1 and z minus 7 power this is answer or if you want to make these exponents in positive so you can do one more step here 4 x 6 will here and then you have to move these two negative exponents in the denominator so it will be y and no need to write down one and here will be z power 7 so this is another way to write down the answer right so what you have learned in this lecture or in this lesson that in the case of division you have to add or subtract the power of the same basis right if still you have any question please write down in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel on youtube sci academy and thanks for watching